Right, so they're done. Need to put some grooves in now for the panel. But I like to stack them neatly like this. Then any mistake is obvious. Don't want to move on to the next step and then find that you made a mistake. But they look okay. It don't really matter if I cut my panels before or after I put my grooves in, I'm still measuring, you know, that distance. But now I've got a couple of offcuts, exactly the same stuff as this. So now I can set up my set up my router, put the grooves in. Those panels should fit. I put my grooves in about half inch deep and I've made these 10mm wider than that gap. So should work out. Get that machine out now. Glue and dominoes now.
uh, I put two sticks on. They're pretty straight, these sticks. But they're my winding sticks. They need to be... They need to be parallel. If they're off, then you get a, you know, perspective thing. That's pretty straight. That's pretty straight. Now I can look through them and it looks like that far corner is just a little high. So what I'll do is put a tiny little pack under this bit here, find something. That's better. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Cool. This first one can determine all the ones above it that you stack on top. Right, so that's the last one. I did this winding thing on every one and because I set up that first one correctly, I haven't had to adjust any of them. That's good. White glue isn't good with frost, so um, we have had a bit of frost overnight. But hopefully it'll be pretty dry by then. So now I just need to get that distance there, right, if you look online, some say 2mm, some may say 3mm, but I'll try it on some scrap. Right, so on these hinges there's in and out, that's that distance, this one pushes it in and out that way, and on your mount you can go up and down, that's what I do. I set these so that it's 50 50 in out in out so when you come to fit them you can go either way if you have it all the way in you can only go one way you can't go you know the other way because you're, you're at the full amount so I'll set these at 50 50 A little bit of burning inside, it's probably some gunk on the cutter. Nice crisp hole. That's why I use the router. I just eyeballed that, just guessed it. See how that goes. Right, this is three quarter sixes.
I don't think that hole is quite deep enough. But we'll see if I've got my centers right. Uh, these are hectic hinges. Good quality hinges these. They come with some like little grub screws that are designed to go in the carcasses you know that you buy kitchen carcasses but these ones got little screws on so you don't need to use you know other screws and because they don't sit 90 degrees you don't have to sort of tip them a little bit like that So I've got a nice gap there, so I've got a nice gap there, you don't want it tight otherwise they bind and when I close it, see I'm just off a bit there but because I put this 50-50 I could if I wanted to wind that out. And I'll close that up. I won't want it this dark time though, so that'll do. I'll just make a few minor tweaks. So like I said, I don't think that hole's quite deep enough. If I drop that down like that, lock it off, then back this off just a little bit, then when it goes down, it will cut in a little bit deeper. Well, there's a little bit of staining. This was from the from the clamps and the glue. Don't matter about that. It's going to get painted anyway. I put them about 100 mil in from the end. That normally works out about right for me. That's better.
Right, they're a little tight and this cabinet's out of square, see. So what I'm going to do is hang them, try and get this cabinet square, maybe put a brace inside. But they're a little tight, I don't mind that though, you can take a millimetre off, it's harder to put a millimetre back on. I was playing a bit off. I'll do that on all. 